If you are a woman that is battling menopause, hair loss, or hair loss in general, if it is, isn't even related to menopause, this video is for you because 2024 is the year for you to take back your hair and make it look as full and healthy and as vibrant as you want it to be. Let's get into that video right now. So I started noticing my own hair loss after 51. 51 is when I hit menopause. I started with hot flashes, my period stopped, all of those wonderful things you get. But I also noticed that I was really getting very thin with my hair. And if you've been with me through that time, you know that I cut my hair completely off. I've always had fairly long hair and it's blonde and I've bleached it blonde for years and I cut it completely off. And so I lived with that for a while, but then I did something more drastic and went darker. Now I'm growing it out again and I'm going to share with you what I'm trusting right now that is really boosting my hair health. I have a three-pronged approach to how I take care of my hair. The first one is orally or ingesting or what your body takes in that helps your hair. You're gonna wanna eat lots of protein and you're gonna wanna get lots of water. You're gonna also want to eat le green leafy vegetables. If you don't do that, you're gonna need to take some sort of a vitamin supplement Omega-3 is really good for your hair health as well. I do want to tell you this, I'm telling you about these supplements that we're going to get into just really quickly, is that anything that you do take medication-wise, you want to check with your doctor to make sure that none of these would clash with them. All right, let me tell you about, I've been using Living Silica for probably, I would say it's almost six months now. This has done the biggest 180 for my hair as far as what I take internally. Silica is a must for your hair health. It's one of those things that you definitely want boosted and you want to have a really good silica in your diet. This one is an organic mineral-based collagen booster, Living Silica. It promotes um, and supports joints and bones. It also supports skin, hair, and nails. And this is just an all around good product and I feel like anybody that has any sort of problems with their skin or hair, they need to be on some sort of a silica to help boost. Now I also take an internal collagen. There has been a lot of debate about collagen, whether it's effective or not taking it internally. And there wasn't a lot of studies, but now all of a sudden there's a lot of studies talking about the benefits of collagen. Collagen is what gives that plumpness to our skin. It's also what helps build our hair health. The collagen that I take has all the types of collagen, one, two, three, five, and 10. And this is the, the basic hair, skin, and nails formula. Now I do wanna tell you that this is not vegan. So this one has been just a fantastic one for me. I've used it forever and won't be without it. And then I also read great studies about sal palmetto, ashwagandha, turmeric, those different supplements are so good for hair health. They promote hair growth and they promote the health of the hair, meaning the diameter of the hair, how thick it is, how much of your hair grows. There's also been studies that have talked about them being DHT blockers that help to block the DHT that can attack your follicle and make your hair fall out. So this is really good. Do your research on DHT because DHT can be something that can be really detrimental to your hair health. It just makes, it attacks the follicle and it makes the hair fall out. One of the things that I will share with you, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not on camera, but I have all these little hairs sticking up all over the place and they range anywhere from like two inches to like three or four inches. So my hair is coming in like crazy since I started all of these good things. What spurred me to do this is last year was a horrible year for me. I had two back-to-back -back surgeries, one in January, one in April, that were eight hours on the table surgeries and weeks and weeks and weeks of recovery. And then I had a major move and my hair fell out in globs. I mean, just absolute globs. And so what spurred me to get to this point was doing a ton of research. I couldn't stand the fact that I wasn't gonna have this thick head of hair anymore. We as women identify, you know, pretty healthy hair with being young and youthful and healthy. And I think even as we age, for me personally, I can identify that when my hair is healthy, I feel better about myself when my hair looks good. All right, so what do I do topically? Those are all the internal ingredients in healthy hair. What do I do topically? So one of the things I do is I do wash my hair every other day 
I've learned through this journey that I wouldn't let my skin go five or six days without washing it. Why would I let my hair go five or six days? What happens is we slough skin cells up there. So we've got dead skin cells, we've got dirt there, we've got the oil production, we also have whatever product we've put in our hair. And we need to make sure that our scalp is being cleansed just like we would cleanse our skin. One of the things that I also learned is that our follicles can get clogged from not cleansing them properly or not cleansing them enough. So what I suggest is that you get a really good detox shampoo. I knew I wasn't going to use it every time I washed my hair because that would be stripping your hair too much, but you do need to use this quite often. I use it once a week. So this one is the K18 Biome biomimetic hair science peptide prep detox shampoo and they talk about that they have skincare inspired ingredients that inspired them to make their hair products i really feel like i spend a ton of money on my skincare why wouldn't i spend a lot of money on taking care of my scalp health or the skin underneath my hair as much as I do my skin. So I use this about once a week. I swap it out with my other shampoos, but I do do a double cleanse on my hair, the same as I do on my skin. So what I do is I will take something like this. I will lather it up and get all of that dirt and that's the extra skin, the sebum, all those things out of the hair follicle. Never ever scratch your hair with your nails. You're going to damage your skin barrier on your head. Just like you would damage your skin barrier on your skin if you were to be real abrasive with it you want to be just as gentle with that so go ahead and you know use those pads of your fingers and really get that massage going this is great for detoxifying my hair follicles and really helping them to be invigorated also what i do once a day is i use this tool right here this is a device that is meant to massage your scalp this is an absolutely indispensable tool for what is happening with my hair regrowth right now. This is a rechargeable device that just very gently uses these silicone little massagers to massage your scalp. And it also has a little bit of red light therapy in there to be able to get to the scalp as you're going around. It also has massage on there. You just push the other button and you've got massage on it. So this is fantastic for me. It's been wonderful in promoting that new hair growth because it stimulates the follicle again, but it also stimulates the whole entire scalp to get a lot of oxygen in there. And the oxygen is carried through blood. So we're stimulating that whole scalp area. If you could look at your scalp after using one of these, it might be a little bit red, it might get a little bit tingly. That's a good thing because we're bringing the blood to the surface and we know that blood carries tons of nutrients and oxygen. So this has been indispensable. Now, what about a topical solution for your hair? This is the one that I highly recommend and this one is the anti-hair loss scalp tonic and this one is from let me see derm the derma factory this is to strengthen your hair for scalp care for sebum control and it's cooling i've used several bottles of this i did not get it sent in pr actually I don't, there isn't anything on this table that I got sent in PR. I purchased everything myself and I continue to repurchase these kinds of great things. This is made with stem cells, but it's made from stem cells from adipose tissue, which is your fat cells. So this is a really great regrowth stimulator and it also helps to prevent your hair from falling out. Now I quit using Medoxidil years ago because I found that if I stopped it, I would just lose all of that growth. That's not that way with this product. You don't lose what you've already gained, and I love that. Now, I will also link a scalp massager. This is a silicone brush. A lot of us have already seen these. I don't really recommend that you use this in the shower, and here's why. When your hair is wet, it's at its most vulnerable. It's at its weakest point, and using this, that can get a little bit tough and tug on your hair a little bit. So I actually just like using my hands or the pads of my fingers to get that really good massage with my scalp when I'm in the shower. So I probably wouldn't recommend this in the shower, but when you're using this as an anti-hair loss treatment, really using this to massage the product in, the rest of your hair is gonna be dry. So using this to massage it in is really good. And I use this for at least 20 minutes before I shampoo my hair each time. If I can, I will use it the night before 
and use the scalp massager and then go ahead, pull my hair up and let it sit on my hair overnight. As most of you know that have been with me for any amount of time, I stopped bleaching my hair blonde and I went dark and that was for my hair health as well. Bleaching the hair strips it of all of its natural oils and I was just being really hard on my hair to have it bleached that often. Usually, you know, my roots would start growing out and every eight weeks at least, bare minimum, I would have to color my hair to get the roots taken care of. So I decided to go back to up closer to my own color, which is pretty dark. My actual hair color is a very mousy, dark, dirty dishwater blonde. I don't like it, but this hair color has been good because I only have to use my box, which I use L'Oreal and it is, I'll make sure I link it down below for you, but it's L'Oreal Preference and it is medium ash blonde, if I'm not mistaken. So that works out really good. But instead of coloring my hair that often, which now I'm only coloring my hair every three to four months, which I think is really good. But this product right here is called Blazing Brown. It's called Glaze, sorry. It's basically a color enhancer, temporary color enhancer. So I can put this on and I can get five to six, maybe seven shampoos out of this and not have to color my hair so often. And this is a semi-permanent color depositing just glaze that goes on your hair. This one is called Blazing Brown. They have this in all different kinds of colors. I highly suggest that you try something like this. Not only does this keep me from having to color my hair so often, but it also feeds the hair too because it's very conditioning. And I've been absolutely loving this. And you can definitely tell the difference in how shiny your hair is, how soft your hair feels after you use this. So I highly suggest that. I also always, always, always use a hair protectant, a leave-in hair conditioner. You wash your hair and then if you let it air dry without in without putting in any sort of leave-in conditioner You're going to lose the moisture It's going to wick away in the air or it's going to wick away as you as you dry with a blow dryer So putting some sort of a leave-in conditioner in it is going to help lock in that moisture Especially on your ends pay really good attention with your conditioners on your ends if you put your conditioners up here at your roots, your hair is just going to look really drab because it's going to fall. And so pay really good attention. I use, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. Keratin is the strengthening products that we have in our hair naturally. So using something like this gives it even more keratin and it really helps boost it. So I highly suggest you get something like this. I should have, while I was talking about shampoos, talked to you about one of my favorite shampoos ever. And this is an actual DHT blocker. So that hormone that hits the follicles and makes the, fo makes the follicle lose the hair or actually your hair fall out, that's called DHT. Well, this is a DHT blocker. So it goes around the follicle, it helps protect the, the follicles from that DHT and can really penetrate and is great for the skin on the scalp. The scalp health is what is promoted by this. This is from Shiny Leaf. It's the Advanced Formula DHT Pro Shampoo for men and women. And this has just been really good as far as helping with my thinning hair too. So again, I'm seeing all these new baby hairs, all these little sprouts of hairs, and I can really attest to the fact that I'm doing everything I can as far as shampooing and helping my hair. Also, if you're not utilizing the Bond treatments that they have out right now, you really are missing out. Like Olaplex 3, that's the one that really started it. It really does bond the hair together and it is tremendous for anybody that would like to grow their hair out. It's gonna save that last five inches, that last four or five inches that we have on our hair that always seems to get dry and breaks really easily. It's going to save those last few inches and help those last few inches be really healthy and anything that you throw at your hair, it's going to help keep it healthy. Now, Olaplex is great, but you hardly get any in there and it's really expensive. So I actually, when Redken came out with theirs, I immediately switched over because I trust Redken. This is the acid bonding and there's little hair on me. There's an, <laughs> this is the acid bonding concentrate, intense conditioning, fortifying, optimized for colored hair. Now you don't have to have colored hair to use this. You can have, you know, just your own natural color hair, whatever you want, but this is fantastic for taking this part of the hair right here. And you don't want to use this on your roots again. This is just for the ends of your hair. So I would use this like in this part right here of my hair. And the other thing that Olaplex tells you is that you should 
wash your hair, use this, and then wash your hair again. You don't have to do that. Don't get sucked into that. Go ahead, wet your hair, put it in your hair, and then I throw it up in a twisty turby or a towel, whatever you have. You're going to want to leave it on for at least 20 minutes. You can leave it on for however long you want to, as long as your hair stays wet. That's the trick. This is gonna to continue to bond the hair together, the whole entire shaft of the hair that may be you know, fraying a little bit, it's gonna to continue to bond it and make it smooth. And then you wash your hair after, you can see I did use this today and my hair just looks very healthy and very nourished and I love this. Now, if this is a little bit too expensive because I think this bottle is about $30, L'Oreal is the parent company to Redken. So you definitely can look into this as well. This is another one that I use all the time. I feel like it's every bit as good as Redken. Um, they came out with this not long after Redken came out with theirs, so I'm sure that they sell, share recipes here, but you're saving several dollars. Again, this is the Bond Strengthening Concentrate Pre-Shampoo, perfect for damaged hair. This just helps to bond that hair together. This works every bit as good as the Redken, every bit as good as the Olaplex, and I'm pretty darn sure that it's a dupe. Now, if you are somebody that styles your hair, I do style my hair, I blow dry my hair, I love to have that sleek look to my hair, but I don't necessarily want to put that kind of heat damage onto my hair. You are absolutely 100% going to want to look into getting a thermal protectant for styling. Now what's beautiful about the Kenra Platinum Thermal Protectant, and this is number 20 by the way, it's called Hot Spray. This has a hold in it as well. So when you spray it onto your hair, you're going to immediately notice that it's going to feel like a hairspray. Then you're just gonna let it dry for a few minutes, you're going to brush it through, and then you're gonna go in and you're gonna curl your hair and you're gonna notice that you're gonna get some hold, which is fabulous. You're gonna want that hold because then you don't have to curl your hair so often and your hair won't fall flat during the day as well. I love this, I I've been using the 19, it's every bit as good. I like both of them, I switched over to this one, so I kind of switched between the two, but Kenra has had my heart for a long time ever since they came out with their hairspray. That's one of the products that I've used as long as I can remember on my hair. But use a thermal protectant holding spray on your hair. You don't wanna just use something that says thermal protectant because this right here says that it's a thermal protectant, but in the long run, when you use that heat, like if you're using a hot iron or if you're using curling iron or curlers, you're gonna need something like this that's the heavy duty Mac Daddy that's going to protect those strands when you're using a curling iron. Something that I also wanna say that I do not do very often is use that kind of hot iron on my hair, maybe once a week. And it's okay to use that once a week, but if you are using styling tools that are going up into the high 300 degrees or over 400 degrees, you're causing major damage to your hair and you're going to have to cut your hair often because it's going to completely damage the ends no matter if you're using bonding treatments no matter what you're doing you're going to damage the ends and not have that protected i just about a month and a half maybe two months ago i bought this sharp blow dryer brush and i love it and the reason that i love it so much is because it doesn't go above 300 degrees. It's below that. I think it's like 290 degrees. So even on its highest setting, it is a very low heat comparatively to the other ones. Now I only use this on the second heat. There's there's the cool shot, there's a warm, and then there's, there's their highest heat on here. And I only use it on the second one, the warm one, and it still seems to be good enough. It definitely dries my hair because you're getting the circulation of the air. But also I love this because you go all the way up on the dial, turn the air off, and you have this technology right here from Shark that is a smoothing product that utilizes the ion technology where it's drawing moisture to your hair, but at the same time, it's just making your hair very sleek. So no more flat irons. This will definitely do the job of a flat iron and make your hair look sleek and straight without doing any damage whatsoever. You're not applying that kind of heat. Now this does get a little bit warm, but it is nothing like putting a flat iron on your hair. 
I love this. I do have the Dyson. I have a Con Air. I've tried Dry Bar. I've tried Laange. I've tried so many different ones. The Revlon is a hair killer. The Revlon is so hot. They're uh, brushed, blow drying brush. So I just feel like this was a great investment for me. And I'm so glad that I, I purchased this. And if it broke, I would go out and get it tomorrow. But yes, I'm absolutely in love with this. And I didn't feel like there was a learning curve on it. You just got in there and you did your hair. And I really love this so much. So that is the product and the tips that I can give you to try and help with your menopausal hair and hair loss or hair damage or anything like that. Thank you so much for being with me today. I hope everybody is doing really well. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions or if you yourself have any recommendations for me. Please take care of yourselves and come back to see me really soon in my next video. Love you much. Goodbye.